Okay, so this is uh, worksheet 4.7, uh, number 16. In uh, exercises 16 and 17, complete the proof. Given angle BAC is congruent to angle BCA. So I'm going to put it down here in the proof. I don't know if it's going to be a good idea for me to put it down there, but I'm going to put it in anyway so I can see it. So these angles are congruent. That means the big triangle is isosceles. It also says segment BD is congruent to segment BE. I'm going to put one clicky each on these. And we want to prove angle BDC, which is up here, is congruent to angle BEA, which is up here. Okay, so when I look at the angles that we're trying to prove, I want to see are they parts of, um, are they corresponding parts of two triangles? If they are, then I can prove triangles are congruent and use CPCTC. And as I look down here for hints, I can see that they've, they, are, they are actually going to say that two triangles are congruent by side angle side. So that's what I, I guess, can be looking for here which triangles will be congruent uh, by side angle side. And to me, it looks like the two triangles that would be maybe congruent would be this one and that one. So those two triangles will be the ones we're trying to prove congruent. The good news is they gave us BE and BD, which are corresponding parts. It, they also, uh, it looks like they're giving us this whole length up here, I'm going to call this a two-clicky length, and I'm going to, uh, and then this length over here is also congruent. I'm going to call that a two-clicky length because those base angles are congruent. So I've got, uh, oops, and I, I've got two sides. If I can get an angle, I've got it, and of course I have this angle that's a shared angle up here. So I can now see that these two triangles that I was trying to prove congruent are congruent by side angle side. So when I go in to fill in the blanks here, it says um, angle BAC and BCA, that's given. The converse of the base angles theorem is going to allow us to say that segment AB is two cluckies and that segment BC, and I'll call it CB, is two cluckies. Angle B is congruent to angle E. Of course, that's the reflexive property that I like to say. I'd like you to write shared angle here. The other given information is that segment BD is congruent to segment BE. And then which two triangles can we say are congruent? Well, we can say, I'm going to say ABE, triangle ABE is congruent to triangle, let's see, ABE would be CBD, and that's by side angle side, and number six would be because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So that's uh, worksheet 4.7, number 16.